Yo, whoa, what is good, everybody? It's your boy, Super Secret Shh. Salsa. And I am back once again with another reaction video, man. Now, as you can see in the title, what we're reacting to today, 20 of the craziest moments in NFL history. Now, as we know, the NFL season is right upon us, man. It's right around the corner. Actually, I think it's tomorrow, actually, man, if I'm not mistaken, man. But you already know the original video will be down in the description below. Also, put in a request video down below in the comments, man. Follow all my social media. You already know it's going to be in the description below. But with that being said, we're going to get to the video, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeet. All right. These are the craziest oh, moments in NFL history. Jeez. Oh, what damn. Is Somebody had the... Somebody had the help. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Oh, my god. And gosh. for number 20, we got a touchdown Whoa. so crazy. It Let's the do this. On on. Head. Oh, my gosh. Yo, my boy. Oh my w. God. Number 19 is an L. Number 19 was so it. crazy. He got himself arrested. Yo. Yo, the people that be running on the field like this, you know how much they get. Bro, what? Oh. Oh, the Man, players is like that. Nah. All the smoke. Number 18, Kyle Sheesh. Wynn, because a mascot once crashed no the Super Bowl in a hot air balloon. The balloon no way. The Viking mascot, Karam, got of control, resembling yo, a but yo, ship, yo, but, but that's no crazy. Fans in the stands began fleeing. Nah, for that's wild. That mascot is a balloonatic, and so are these NFL <laughs> commentators. Because in number 17, one man grabbed the mic and went crazy. And went crazy. The coach has been blown away by Crabtree's hands. And his ability to suck Damn. in these balls. Hold on, hey. he said sucking these yeah. what? Man, these commentators are nuts. Let's go with no. Not as crazy as number 16. The time a 340-pound lineman intercepted a pass. Oh. And then shocked the world. And he gone. Oh, and he's gone. No way. Oh, he's gone. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He won't give it up. Oh, my goodness. Jesus. Dang, I thought he was going to hit the Another touchdown with that one. is spooky. It was during Halloween of 2019. Uh -oh. An NFL game was terrorized by a by black, black cat. cat. And a black cat is running across MetLife Stadium. That's, <laughs> is this that's crazy. Is this going to be bad for the Cowboys? If it might be a... It might a be. black ah. cat just ran out onto the field on Halloween. That is cursed. Yo, that's, that's Not wild, cursed though. Number what? 14. On Halloween, the time the black an cat. NFL player got mugged. On live TV. No way. For real? Faking, faking. Ooh. Ooh. It's up for grabs. Was it oh. Kareem Moore got the ball. It's an interception. And then it's taken no. away. But reach him. Reach him. Yo. He said, give me that. He just stole that guy's ball and his dignity. That's oh tough. my god. Crazy moments aren't always nah, that was on a great, the field. Yo, if you saw Sometimes that live, they're above it. Cause in number 13, no Broncos way. fans pulled up to a game in the craziest way possible. They sky dove into a game? Nah, that's wild. Nah, they wow for that, man. Oh my goodness. Nah, Jumping that's some next plane. level Those crazy. Guys are some beast. But yeah. the biggest beast of them all is Marshawn Lynch. Because oh, in number 12, boy. he pulled off the craziest man, run Lynch. in NFL history. He breaks the tackle beast of Stanley, mode, baby. runs through Sharper, oh my runs through Adele, oh my runs through Jabari yeah. Greer. Get yeah, off me, tough. he says yeah, to Tracy right Porter. Right Look oh all the way down goodness. the field, half Look back. At this. All the offensive linemen. Are Jeez. you kidding me? God damn. Marshawn went beast mode, Yo. breaking through nine tackles for the touchdown. Golly. And if that wasn't wild enough, it gets even crazier. I this know made it does. fans get so I know loud, it gets crazier. they literally caused an earthquake. No way, for real? The beast is alive and well. Beast mode ran so hard. Fans so loud that they caused an earthquake? Near Quest Field. What? Yes, he literally caused an I earthquake. I think that happened in Rome just for a Travis Scott it. concert. This guy shook the whole city. But what I'm really shook about is number 11, the time an NFL cheerleader got her ass eaten on live TV. Oh, Whoa. I remember. <laughs> Engulfed 
<laughs> I think I remember Not seeing polite. that, man. That's well, mad damn. funny. You just swallowed her whole. Well, listen, hey. we're in the top ten. So Hold on, it's now. only gonna get crazy. It's only gonna here. get crazy for me. The Minnesota top Vikings time. was so wild. It cost them tens of millions of dollars. See, in December of 2010. Minnesota got hit with one of the biggest blizzards oh, ever, being buried in over I 26 think I remember inches this. of snow. And to make matters even worse, just hours before a game against the Giants, cameras in the Vikings arena Yo, captured this. Look at this. Oh, that's crazy. What? Yo, you know how much snow it takes for just to like just to collapse through a stadium? Oh my god. Goodness, yo, that's a lot Metro of money. Metro Dome, turn into a damn <coughs> snow globe. <coughs> that's a and this lot ended up being right one of the there, craziest yo. disasters in all of sports. That's wild, not yeah. not only did the Vikings have to finish their season playing in different stadiums, but the team was also forced to spend over 18 million just Jeez. to replace the roof. Damn, a storm was snow joke. And neither <laughs> is number nine, because in 2021, Justin Tucker made the craziest kick. In NFL history. In 2021. This is for an oh NFL yeah. 66 yards. 66 yards. You know how hard, bro. Bro, these kickers making it look, making it look easy sometimes. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, it bounced off of it. Oh, that's wild. 66 yards for the win. Nah, the been longest pissed. field goal ever. Oh, if I was the other team, I would have been hot. But what Aaron Rodgers did in number oh, eight man, was Aaron iconic. Rodgers. Back in 2015, the Green Bay Packers were taking on the Detroit Lions. And seven and no four, time four left and seven. That's funny. Green Bay had the ball down by two. This oh, and it's two. Was their last oh. shot at winning the game. So Aaron Rodgers he got had no it. choice. Oh my gosh! But to throw up a hail mary. Oh my gosh! Does he have it? Does he get it? Oh! Wow. And that's why that man would go down as one of the goats, man. No. Wow. This man threw Kiss. up a prayer and it was answered. Oh what my a goodness. But number seven is a disgrace because we got to talk about the craziest player in NFL history. Antonio Brown. Antonio yeah, Brown. This man's AB, been a loose baby. cannon his entire Yo. career. From jumping into a goalpost, crotch first, to twerking <laughs> after a touchdown. But eventually, <laughs> yeah. AB started losing nah, that, all yo, his marbles on dog. and off the field. Because while playing for the Buccaneers, Brown got oh, into yeah. a fight with his head coach oh, yep, and retired just... mid-game. Yup. He retired mid-game. He talked about it too, man. He said, man, I'm done. They were trying to do too much, man. Obviously, they were unable to do so. He tossed his shoulder pads, stripped off his shirt and glove, threw those into the crowd, giving the crowd a piece outside. That was the last time we ever saw A.B. in the NFL. Man, whether you love him or hate him, that guy's one of one. Nah, A.B. is a catch. Oh, OBJ. number six. He made a catch that was so crazy. OBJ's catch. I know you all remember this. With the one hand, let me see it. Let me see it. And that was what a catch. What a grab. Yo, crazy. Y'all not gonna tell me that was a good Y'all not gonna tell me that was a good That catch was ridiculous. OBJ, that's what. And the whole world agreed. Look at that. Because it instantly went viral. Turned OBJ into a household name. Oh my goodness. One play can really change everything. And I tell you, man. That's a fact. Than Malcolm Butler. Because in number five, he snatched a Super Bowl trophy out of thin oh. air. See, back in 2015, Patriots were taking on the this. Seahawks in Super Bowl 49. Skittles. And yes, this sir. game was coming down to the wire because with 40 seconds left, the Seahawks were just inches away from their second straight title. All the they had to do was Damn. walk the ball into the end zone. But that's when this oh, happened. Oh, yeah. is intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm I remember Butler. seeing this live. It was crazy, oh, yo. Damn, Russell Wilson. Malcolm Butler. Russell Wilson, then, yeah, man, he, he messed Malcolm all of that up. Yeah, I think I remember seeing this live right here. It's crazy. This man just ripped it the was dunk wild. right from his hands. 
All he needed was that one way to win a ring. That's it. But if you want fire, then we got number four. The time an NFL arena almost Jeez, burned to the ground. The... In 1991, the Saints were taking boy, on the Niners in, in New Orleans boy, when, at you, halftime. Man. Fans were treated to a special fireworks show. And at first, everything went according to plan. Oh but my as gosh, players so came back for the second half, it all went up in smoke. Because the fireworks started a fire oh in the rafters right above the field. Sending of course. everyone in the stadium. They're doing the fireworks a inside the stadium. In the not face going, of you know? danger, one man stepped up to save the day. Saints arena worker, Frank Sweet. Frank worried oh, my the man falling embers could for cause the game to be oh, delayed. No. As a stagehand, he believed that the show must go on. He hoped to crawl out and extinguish the blades without drawing anyone's attention. The game continued below, with the Saints safely out of range in the red zone as Frank confronted the fire. The they put it out. Nothing. I had a harness on the whole time. It's a fear it's of being a fear seen. Of being We're seen. supposed to be quiet, silent, behind the scenes. I start climbing across, and I'm thinking I'm a mouse. I get about halfway across to where the fire is. I look up, and I notice myself on the screen. Oh, That's my gosh. Fire. Boom. Damn. Man, he put it Frank's out. Frank's a hero. Oh, he yeah, belongs he in the Hall of Flame. But all right, dog. It's top three time. Top so we're three time. Our straight jackets, and we're going psycho. Top three First, time. We got a moment that was so crazy, no one saw it coming. See, on February third, twenty thirteen, the Ravens were playing the 49ers in Super Bowl forty seven, and with seventy one thousand mm. fans in attendance Jeez. and a hundred and eight million people watching from home, Jeez. everyone was expecting the game of a lifetime. What they got instead was one of the most unexpected hey, moments hey, in NFL hey. history. Nance, there may be a moment. Oh, half the power in oh, half New Orleans the Stadium, the Superdome here, is out in almost a perfect Yo, semicircle. That's of the crazy. Half the stadium, half the stadium, light, half of it went out. The scoreboard is also not working as well. Yeah, the lights just mysteriously turned off. But thankfully, after a 34 minute delay, we were able to man. flip the switch on back now, on. Man. They ain't stop playing nothing. Let's game. get it, yeah. Well, look, we gotta flip the switch to number two. Number the two, craziest man. Craziest upset in NFL history. Back in 2008, the New England Patriots were on the brink of something iconic. Because heading into Super Bowl 42, they had a record of 18 and 0. Needing oh, it just was 18 and 0 win for a perfect season. Damn. Some of the team that no, dominant, it was wild. Thought the no, Dots out in the back, especially that considering that their Super Bowl opponent was a team oh, that barely made man, the playoffs, Eli, and everyone was counting out the New York Giants. Yo. They have to be commended for their fine effort against New England. What is this a rip in here? But they lost. <laughs> I think the Giants have no chance whatsoever of winning this football game. I'm a Boston Sheesh. boy, and the New England Patriots turn out to be a perfect a fit. A fit. In this league, talent wins games. Because I need bonus points, I'm going to pick And my man Eli said, yo, let's get it, dog. The Patriots were supposed to win by a landslide. Yo. But to everyone's surprise, the score was close the entire night. And in the final minute of the game, with the Pats up just four points, the Giants got the ball at the 44 yo. line in need of a miracle. And my man Eli and said, let's get it. one of the craziest ah. plays ah. in Super Bowl ah. history. Get off me. Wild out. Slings it. Oof. That's a oh my catch gosh, that what a Tyree. catch. Yo, that was a catch, and dog. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Left. The Giants needing a touchdown. David Tyree caught the ball with Yo, his helmet, bringing the Giants wild, one step closer to the end zone. And just 30 seconds later, New York sealed the deal, scoring a Do touchdown to win the Super Bowl. School. And Officially ruining the Pats' perfect season. Damn, <laughs> that yo, that's is a crazy great. out. That's but wild. we shouldn't feel too bad for the Patriots because hey. a decade later they gave us number one. It was they Super Bowl Fifty One: Falcons versus Patriots. The number one yo. ranked <laughs> offense versus the number one ranked Bro, defense. Bro, I tell you, man, the people were expecting this game to be a back and forth all the whole years, night. Man. But that's instead, why he, he the Falcons the NFL took the field honest, and put on a master class. Sheesh. Oh my gosh. What a cut that was. Boy, you see the movement on that? Oh, damn. Oh, Atlanta was wild in that game. Oof. The Falcons Sheesh. clawing the Patriots' eyes out. And by oh the middle gosh. of the third quarter, it seemed like the game was already done. 
Cause Atlanta was beating New England 28 to, to three, three, which statistically that don't gave them a 99.8% chance stop. That of winning the Brady. Super Bowl. But what happened next? No one could have predicted. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. That's one touchdown closer. Look, down by 18 now. Two score game, man. Look, Brady locked in. Who? Another one. Sheesh. Look, down by 10. Look, he didn't go in for the two point. Yup. Sheesh. Down by one touchdown, basically. Oh my gosh. The Patriots pulled off one of the craziest Yo, comebacks. Wow, bro. Forced the Look, game to overtime. OT and this. everything. Oh my gosh. And that is exactly why Brady is the GOAT, dog. It's just crazy. Yo, if I was Atlanta, oh nah. I'm, I'm fighting. I'm fighting all my teammates. How did that happen? That's crazy. The Patriots did the impossible, scoring 31 straight points. Damn. To win the Super 31. Bowl, officially pulling off the craziest comeback Sheesh. in NFL history. Man, bro. A comeback like that is just stupid. But wow, you know what bro. else is stupid? How Dell Beckham Jr. spends his money. Cause he dropped ah, two million dollars on a watch and then OBJ, wore it man. in an Shout NFL game. Yeah, and OBJ, it turns out a ton funny. of athletes are like this. Yeah, From exactly, Ronaldo man. dropping twelve Ronaldo million on a car to Mike Jeez. Tyson buying three pet tigers. It's insane how these guys Ooh. spend their money. Look, if you want to hear more, then you need to click on this Yo, video you know right what? here. Yeah, word, these right? are stupidly expensive things yeah, athletes know, don't man. talk about. And that's uh, the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't miss out. Might as well click. What are you doing? Click it.